the Superman of science, and he loves to play with fire. And the things he'll do, you can do, if you so desire, to try this at home with Mr. T. Hello, and welcome back to Do Try This at Home. This is the show that takes ordinary household items and turns them into something extraordinary. I'm your host, Mr. G, and well, I've made something that's just unbelievable. Take a look at this. This is a liquid, as you can see, plainly. In fact, let me get that a little bit closer to the camera so that you can actually see that what we're talking about here is truly a liquid. You see it, it does, it does just what any liquid would do, it rolls around in there. But wait a minute, is it actually a liquid or is it a solid? Could you do this if this were liquid? I don't think so, but wait a minute. It is a liquid. Could you do this if it were a liquid without spilling it all over the place? I don't think so, but look. It remains a liquid. What have we got here? This is amazing. In fact, watch this. I'll even take and pour the liquid into another container. Look at this. It's pouring, isn't it? Look at that. Pouring right out into the other container. Isn't that amazing? But now watch. We'll let that come apart. Now watch this. In fact, look, it's dripping. So we know it's definitely a liquid. You can see that this is a liquid. But watch. Let's put Mr. Bear into the liquid. I can't get him down into the liquid. He won't sink, but let's just set him in the liquid. He sinks right down in. Lift him back out. Oh, I can't. In fact, look, he's glued. But now if I lift him out slowly, look at that. He comes right out. Okay, what have we got here, folks? We've got a liquid that's a solid. Or wait, no. Maybe it's a solid that's a liquid. Wait, I don't know. It's dripping all over, though. Well, it can't be both, can it? Yes, as a matter of fact, it can. Here we have a liquid that, when handled roughly or moved abruptly, turns immediately to a solid. Look at that. It becomes solid. I can hit it with my fist. I can punch it. But yet I can still pour it. Now if I go quickly, it breaks. If I go slowly, it drips. What is this amazing, fantastic liquid that we've devised? Well, let me show you something else you can do with it. Pour some in the palm of your hand, like this. Now you definitely have liquid in your hand, don't you? You think so, but look, you can roll it into a ball. Look at that. It crumbles, but yet it drips from liquid to solid instantaneously. Roll it, crumble it, pieces of it fall. Look at that, like snow. Just pieces everywhere. All over your hand, it's a liquid again. This is some of the most amazing stuff I've ever seen. It's so much fun to play with, you'll find hundreds of things you can do with it. Hit it hard, hit it hard with something like this, like this, um, look at that. No matter how hard I hit it, but yet, it'll sink right into the liquid. The butter knife. Look at that. Drips. Right out. Yeah, hit it hard. Hard as a rock. What have we got? Well, what we have here is neither a liquid or a solid. It's a little bit of both. What you'll need is some cornstarch, as I drip everywhere. Just ordinary cornstarch. Any kind of cornstarch will work. Just buy yourself some cornstarch or look up in your cupboard in your kitchen. You'll probably have cornstarch. And ordinary tap water. All I've done is mix cornstarch with tap water. You mix it in such a way that you end up with, a, with something that you cannot stir quickly. In fact, if you try to stir it, it breaks. It breaks into pieces. Look at that. Look at it breaking. Yet, it's a liquid. If stirred slowly, you go right through it. What we've made is actually homemade quicksand. Why does it do this? Well, let me explain a little bit. The particles of cornstarch 
are mixed with water. Water has very little viscosity, meaning it's very thin, and its molecules separate apart easily, so you can hit your hand into water and it splashes everywhere. But cornstarch, on the other hand, when mixed with water, gets very, very crowded. All the little particles of cornstarch are crowded together so much that, and liken it to this. Think of it this way. If, if you had a big tub or a big, like, swimming pool full of little round plastic balls, kind of like they have at some of the um, fun parks and things like that that kids swim in. If you had a, a, something filled with these little plastic balls and you, and you ran across it, you could probably stay on top of it. But if you stop, you'd probably go in. Quicksand works in the same way. What you do with quicksand is if you fall into it, you'll sink. But when you struggle to get free, uh, it becomes hard because the particles of cornstarch don't want to move out of the way, so they stop you from moving. So it becomes hard. In fact, so hard it can lift up. Well, however, if you, if you sink in quicksand like this, it lifts that whole bowl up. Yet quicksand remains liquid in that it can be poured or it is liquid and you can sink in it. You can sink slowly but cannot escape quickly. This is a great time and obviously very messy. I'm Mr. G. Thanks for watching. Do try this at home. Wait a minute, I almost forgot. How are you going to clean up this mess? With plenty of water. Do not pour this mixture down your drain in the form that it's in. You'll need to dilute it with huge amounts of water. You need to really make sure that the water has turned this from the form that it's currently in into truly a liquid. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a really clogged drain. Once again, I'm Mr. G. Thanks for watching. Do try this at home. You can be mystified at its mysterious properties, and then you can make it yourself because I'll show you what ingredients it takes to make today's really just amazing, just really crummy, almost said really crummy. We'll try again. Start over. Hello. <laughs> the weirdest thing I've ever seen. How about you? Okay, we're gonna start this over because I screwed it up.